Okay, the project I'm working on uh, right now is to build a two meter canned ham. Uh, I've got a small TYT radio, it's 2440, two meters slash 440. And uh, so what I wanted to do was, was build a portable kit for it. So I've got part of this already done, so I can kind of show you where I was going with it. Um, I'm not going to make anybody suffer through a build video of me pulling wires through small holes. That's uh, totally dull. However, the basic layout is this. Let me move my TV remote. So we have the TYT radio. It's going to be mounted in the can right here. There's a battery. This is a, a Miati 6 amp hour. Um, it's what I had on hand and it fits in this in the can fairly well and for this radio it'll run this radio for hours and hours uh, so the wiring harness is here and I've already actually wired most of this together um, now what I used are these little connectors here these are used for AC wiring usually in place of wire nuts and these are called uh, uh, Wagyu connectors I believe I will check that and uh, and put it the right name of it in the notes but uh, you basically just stick the wire in and then clamp that little plastic tab down and it bites into the wire and holds it firm so I end up not having to worry about trying to wire nut together four or five or six wires my goal with this was to minimize the number of holes also I put through the can I've got two holes here for the radio mount there was no way to get around that and then of course I'm going to have holes for the uh, the uh, power point and the USB charger and uh, the antenna connector and all that also on the side power switch so let me move the wire harness out of the way and like I said I've got part of this already done I wanted to stop and show you so power switch is going to go there that is two power pole connectors right there the on off switch and we'll talk more about that in a second is going to go right there and then this is the uh, that hole is for the uh, USB connection I don't have a really awesome meter set up for this can because of the size of the can and and there's not a lot of places to mount things I decided to to go with a, a different plan on on how to put a meter in it and I'll show you that too in a second so the way I'm gonna wire this is a little different one of these connectors, one of these sets of connectors will be 12 volt switched and uh, will actually be on all the time rather and then the other connector will be switched based on the power switch so one set of connectors, probably the bottom set, will be hot all the time and then I can use that to plug in my solar panel to recharge the battery both of the solar panels that I have are uh, have a charge controller with them so I don't need to put a separate charge controller in this device so one of these like I said probably this one will be hot straight to the battery all the time so I could plug in something outside the can if I wanted to and use it kind of as a battery box without turning everything else on uh, via the switch the other set of power poles will be switched tied to the switch the switch controls all the power to the can for everything except that one set of power pole connectors and that's so that the ammeter is not running all the time draining the battery or the USB plugs are not hot all the time draining the battery. All right, and then of course then the antenna connector. So my plan after I get the radio and the battery in there and start pulling wires around, and again, this is just the raw wiring harness. Unfortunately, there's just not enough room in here or a really good place to set an ammeter to mount it short of cutting a, a large hole in the side of the can and I didn't want to do that so this is going to be double sided taped or or fastened in some way right in here so the battery will be behind that the radio will be right here and then this will be right here in the front and again that's why I have the switch because I didn't want this thing to be on all the time so this gets no power and the battery will not run down by keeping everything on obviously unless switch is on so that's the way uh, that little piece is set up down the road I didn't have one here this is a single pole single throw switch I've got one ordered I'm going to change it out to a double pole double throw switch so center will be off it'll have three connections center is off and then it can be hot 
on either side but not both at the same time so that way when I want to run everything off the battery the radio etc I'll just turn it on when I want to turn on the extra power charger I can turn it on and it won't run anything else there's a couple ways you could do that it'll work the way I'm doing it with uh, always hot connections but I like it to be switched I just didn't have one so we're not going with that for now then after that's all wired in and everything's sitting in place the other thing I have is a small remote speaker and I this is like a CB speaker or something I can't remember I probably got this at R&L and this is just gonna fit in there this will be plugged into the back of the radio I may put a jumper on it and we'll sit there when the case is closed and then when you're using this you can just simply take this thing out and set it right on top of the can where you can actually hear it because the speaker in this radio you know is going to be tiny and probably downward firing so it won't be it won't be that great so that's where I'm at right now it's just a matter of taking this uh, the radio and back here on the back is where the uh, speaker connection goes I had to use a right angle uh, antenna connector because there's not going to be enough room forward and backward to get a straight in one in there and uh, as it work as it works out it looks like it's going to fit perfectly with the lid shut obviously you can't operate it that way but for portability it's pretty good I won't call it IP67 rated for water resistance I'll call it IP gym but uh, it ought to work out pretty well so that's the basic setup that we have right now and then I'm going to get this put together and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the finished product All right, guys, I got everything put together and wired up, good to go. So I have a 50 caliber ammo can here that I've got set up as a uh, two meter ham in a can, canned ham. Uh, I don't think I can call it a ham o can because I believe that's trademarked. So we'll call it canned ham. Uh, we've got on this side two power pole connectors. One of these is always hot and one of these is switched um, with the always hot one I can use it to run something else off of without powering up everything else uh, I can also connect the solar panel to that and charge the whole unit off of that or off of its AC power to charge the battery inside the unit and of course I got a switch um, and like I mentioned I'm this is a single pole switch right now I'm gonna switch this out to a a double pole switch here in a little while when I get that part in and fix it so I can switch between the power pole connectors and then I've got a USB charger a USB uh, 2.0 and a USB 3.0 quick charge so I can charge phones or, or whatever I need to that way um, the rest of the can and of course the antenna connector and the rest of the can is pretty much closed up the only other exception is the two screws I have in here uh, on the side to mount the uh, to mount the radio inside. So the way that this is going to work is like this: you would open this up, and I'm going to take the lid off for our video here, and then we have everything inside ready to go. And the only problem that I've that I've got at this point is, and I can't fix it with this can, the radio is a little too long to get pushed back far enough where I can keep the mic plugged in. The uh, the connector with the with the microphone attached to the connector, I can't close the lid on the can, so that's the only thing that's really not go ready on this. Other than that, just push the mic in and screw the connector down and we're good to go. Um, reach over here and turn everything on. If I can find my switch. And then that powers the radio up. I have the speaker wired in. It just sits in the can. And when I want to use this, I can just set the speaker, you know, on top of the thing, over on the side. Because this is nice and uh, magnetic, I can put a mag mount 2 meter 440 antenna on top of it and just set it right there and you have a complete 2 meter setup. 
I'm using this PowerWorks uh, meter right here. Put this in at a little bit of a tilt angle so that it's easier to read underneath the radio. But that's pretty much it. It's good to go at this point. Um, I'm going to go handheld here so I can give you a little closer look at the can and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so here's a view of uh, stand, the can standing up. Uh, no judging about the wiring. It's basically in the can and never gets messed with. Uh, by the way, the connectors that I talked about are called Wago connectors. Wago, W-A-G-O. And you can get those at any big box hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. And so that's the basic setup. Uh, you know, this is something you could pull out, slap a mag antenna on top of it, and put it on a park bench or a, a picnic table or whatever and have your have your local two meter set up ready to go. The radio itself has uh, two VFOs in it so we can set it to whatever we want to set it to. Two different repeaters or whatever frequencies you want to listen to. The radio I believe it also scans. Uh, of course like most two meter radios it scans so slow it's not really useful as a scanner. But that's uh, that's pretty much the setup and simply put everything back inside the can with our microphone. And put the lid back on. And close it up and we're good to go. So that's it. That's my project uh, today. I, I don't know how often I will use this, but I have it now so it'll be fairly easy to set up. I mean literally it's just grab an antenna and stick it on it and flip the switch and turn everything on. I have the ability to recharge it so I don't have to fool with taking the battery out because it's stuck behind the radio. It's double sided tape to the inside of the can. The radio is mounted so none of that stuff is really designed to come back out. But uh, it's a great little two meter setup. It's kind of a proof of concept for me. I wanted to build one of these. You can buy these pre-made. Uh, Hamo can, I think, is one of them. And there's two or three others, and I don't remember all their names. Just Google for Go Box and an Ammo can or something like that, and you'll you'll find them available all over the internet. But they also run somewhere around $300, $350. That generally includes a radio. Uh, cost on this is less than that. The can. Uh, 15 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's probably. The radio itself was about a hundred dollar radio I think. And then the other parts is not uh, not a lot of money tied up into it. So that's it. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, click like, click subscribe. Give me that big thumbs up. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when I post any new videos. And we'll see you soon. Talk to you next time. 73. Bye.